I have created a quick uh, text animation using a Wiggle Animator in uh, After Effects. The text flies around and then compose the final word. So it starts from uh, the first letter all the way to the last letter. To do something like this in After Effects is quite straightforward. You just have to have a text, of course, and then go to Animation and then choose Add a Text Selector and uh, choose Range. Uh, range will be appended uh, at the bottom of your uh, layer. You can see it uh, right here. Uh, animator 1, Range Selector 1. Right away, now you can control from uh, the bottom part of the screen. You don't have to go to the uh, animation menu anymore. Uh, right away here you can uh, add another uh, selector. So when you click on Add, instead of choosing Property, you can choose uh, Selector. So we, um, let's go to Add, Selector and Wiggly. Wiggly is the one that we want to apply in this case. Once we have applied a Wiggly Selector, you will see that on the uh, bottom here at the layer we will have Animator 1, Range Selector 1 and Wiggly Selector 1. Now we have to decide what property we want to uh, wiggle and we will choose uh, what property to animate by uh, going uh, through our Add and we choose Property and the property that we want to animate in this case is in fact uh, uh, Position. So there you go, property, position. At the bottom of the layer, now you will see animator 1, range selector 1, wiggly selector 1, and finally position. Here with position you have X and Y. It doesn't really uh, move your whole layer, but actually defines what is the maximum, the maximum X and the maximum Y that you allow the characters to fly to. So in this case I'm setting, for instance, um, let's say 180 X means that the, 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 the character can fly um, all the way to uh, plus minus 184 pixel uh, compared to the original position. And same goes for 425Y, it means that the characters can fly 425 uh, um, pixels up or down uh, depending on the original position. Hmm. Now, when uh, I um, move my uh, timeline here with the current time indicator, the CTI, you see that the characters fly around but they really don't stop. So we have to go into our uh, range selector. We only animate one property. I've seen uh, uh, many uh, ways of animating but I think the, the easiest uh, of all is just to use the start properties. Just by clicking on the stopwatch for start, you see the default value is obviously zero. It has created a uh, keyframe here. All we need to do is just to move our current time indicator uh, forward, let's say we want the animation to last uh, uh, 4 seconds, so we jump at 4 seconds and then we change the value for start to 100%. That's it. That's all we need to do. If you look at the uh, timeline, it's rather simple. We have one keyframe at 0 and one keyframe at 100. That's exactly what the um, animation needs in order to start from a chaotic situation where all the letters are flying around and you see that as we progress with the start value, like in this case is at 50%, the letters will start to go and fall in their original place. So at 50% only the letter V or X are in place, when I go to 100% also L and D are in place.